garnish champ. Oh, there we go. This spooked the base is heavily guarded. Yet I remain unseen, like the space between the stars. My personal cloaking device makes me nigh undetectable. Battery depleted. Ah, poop. Sorry, pal, it was just business. Looks like business is booming! Oh no, there's blood on my shoes. Doctor, no, no, I take it. Very good, Mr. Spatula. I thought you might be the one to track me down. With your detective skills, no doubt. No, actually, I'm working my other job as a spy right now. And your days of embezzling arcs are over, Dr. No-No. Oh, please, that little operation? Do you really think that Spookta cares about cosmetics? Then what are you Spookta people up to? I'm afraid you will not find that information from me, Mr. Spatula. I am under strict NDA. Then I think we're done here. Ah, you kill me, 007, and a dead man's switch attached to my heartbeat will trigger a bomb under this base, and we'll die together with everyone. Well then, we're gonna have to do this the fun way. What are you doing? No, uh, what the heck? Dude? Oh! Seriously? Kalima! Kalima! Oh. Oh, I've always wanted to say that. All right, now I've got to make sure this heart keeps beating until I can clear the blast zone. <laughs> Come on, little buddy, just keep on pumping. Excuse me, excuse me, get out of the way. Is that a heart? It, was he carrying a human heart? Come on, little squeezes, little squeezes. Almost there. Don't stop now, little ticker. Just a few more beats and you're in the band. I didn't think he had the heart. Did you have any trouble rescuing the hostages, 007? Hostages? Ah, crap! He's just one man who can trust and can fight With lush and screen hair He can read He can write Undercover every day Under many women at night Like a stain upon your sheets He will appear in the night All his Up, our sensors are shutting down. <clears throat> Check the instant drive circuits. The cargo we're transporting can interfere with the computer. It's probably just a glitch. We we did jump through the blue triangle, sir. Do you think maybe maybe it's him? Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. Salvation is as dead as Salome. Wait, what's that? It's a commander's signature, sir. A commander? A, a commander's spatula, sir. And he's fired several nuclear torpedoes. Dangus to Aegis Fleet Carrier, prepare to die. Our defenses are down, we're gonna die! Braben, save us. Nibbles, get down. Not while that is working. 
Number two. Number one. Do we have the device? Yeah, it's been acquired. Good. How do I look? You look buff. Super swole. Jack like a Jodrellian ape. Thank you. I've been doing jazzercise. Now it's time to make our demands. Attention members of the Pilots Federation and NPCs. You have no doubt heard the news of the Aegis megaship that disappeared. That was our doing. We are Spookta, a former branch of Azimuth specializing in space and planetary operations obsessed with killing, terror, and evil... Raxla, we're still working on the acronym. But that megaship was carrying a Proteus device, which as you know, is capable of manifesting the attention of Thargoid Maelstroms. If the galactic powers do not pay us the sum of 100 million manufacturing instructions, Whoa. that we will unleash this Proteus wave within the bubble and bring the Xeno War to the core systems. You have until the tick at midnight to comply. The CG starts now. Thank you. Have a nice day. Where's the off button? Uh, how was that? I liked it. Good menacing tone, very firm. I'm super hot right now. Good. Now I think a demonstration of our new weapon will be in order. See to it. I've got some redundancies to take care of. <laughs> Where do I put the quarter? Oh, there's not how this works. I want the report to my desk by Monday. One second, please. I've got a call coming in. Oh, it's you. P, I saw the spook the broadcast, so no doubt you have a mission for me. Yes, of course. We have a very important mission for you. A mission to take two weeks vacation and get some R&R. &R. But, 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 but Spookta, it's a crisis and they are my nemesis. It's fine, 007. We have tons of other agents who are on the case. HR says you are overdue for vacation, so I'm mandating some time off. But, 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 but. No more buts, Spatula. Your license to kill is suspended. Now see O and hand in your gadgets before you go. Enjoy your time off. Goodbye. God, that guy gives me creeps. What was this song? But. 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 Oh. Shit. He wanted me to see you, old man. Shut your damn mouth, 007. I've got no time for your stupid crap today. Or well, somebody's in a mood. Well, if you don't be quiet, I'm gonna put you in a mood. A mood of having a sore butt when I kick it all over the place. Now, your mission is to take a vacation, so I'm gonna have to take all of your gadgets. Well, can I keep some of them? No. Scanner with a built-in rocket launcher. Oh, I like that one. Limpet shoes. Sleeves, not the limpet shoes. Belt buckle bottle opener. I am feeling personally attacked right now. Heat sink underpants? Well, actually, I'm wearing those. Okay, you can keep those. I don't want them back. Well, I guess I'll just get in my courier and be off then. Courier? Oh, no, 007. That's company property. Huh? So I'm afraid you won't have that. Besides, my team is still conducting repairs since your last mission. So what do I fly? Well, I guess you can borrow the loner. A dolphin? But only noobs fly dolphins. Precisely. Have fun on your vacation, spatula. Forced into mandatory secret agent vacation, I booked myself in at a Waterworld spa ran by Worldcraft. This particular planet was on the edge of an area known as the Blue Triangle, where Salvation used to operate. As good a place as any to find a missing Proteus device. Now my mission was simple, relax. Though for me, there's nothing more relaxing than solving a mystery. So maybe I could do both. I remember that episode of Star Trek where Picard went for vacation on Riser and it totally ended up being an awesome adventure. He even got laid, so I had high hopes, even without a Horga. Now it had been a while since I had went planet side on a water world. People who live on water worlds tend to be a little cautious about outsiders. But on this popular tourist destination, even a notorious pirate would be welcomed with open arms. 
Things are so lax you don't even have to ask for landing permission. I finished having my arms strong moment, flushed, and then stepped out on the shandy beach. God, I hate shand. It's rough, of course, and gets everywhere. Good evening. I'm here to check in. Do you have a reservation? Yes. 007. Spatula. 007. Nailed it. Let me check here. Ah, uh, yes. Please follow me, Mr. 007. Yes, of course. Jay, do you have any of those tours you can shine up to where you get to solve a mystery and uh, get laid and maybe some aliens try to kill you? I'd have to ask my manager. Oh, uh, yes, please do. Why don't you try our sauna while we prepare your room? How did you know that I liked it hot and moist? Whoa, that's hot. Not so moist, though. Uh, excuse me, could you turn it down a bit? Oh, or let me out. It's kind of a shame such a handsome fella has to die in such a horrible way. Oh well. Oh boy. I've been this short since the time I overheated that gunship and literally broke the galactic heat record. I mean, this is just rookie heat. <clears throat> um, hello? Lady, where did you go? Uh, hello? Uh, excuse me, hello? Uh, where did you go? I gotta ditch these clothes. Oof. I think it might be a little too hot. Oh, this is way too spicy. Oh, wait. Thankfully, O didn't take my heat sink undies. Deploying heat sink. My hottest is cold. I hadn't been here for more than a couple minutes, and already people were trying to kill me. Well, that does happen a lot. There was something suspicious about this facility, and I intended to investigate. I'll have a least eat evil juice, hold the big greebles. They make my tummy feel funny. Uh, is that too much information? Why, hello there. My name is Dubla Dubla Spatula. Uh, who might you be? I wanna mount you. You're right, names are boring. Can I buy you a drink? The resort is all inclusive. Well, then I'll get you a bottle. Do you come here often? I'm afraid I've never come here before. Would you like to? I'm in room 13 Delta. Meet me there in 20 minutes, Mr. Spatula. Swag. Can't believe that worked. Doppelganger! Wait! Come back! I have a copyright on this face! Was that you who tried to fry me in the sauna? I knew I was in trouble when they said free breadsticks. Doppelganger, stop! So you tracked me down. They said you were good. Did they? Who said? But you must know. I mean, why else would you come here? Mandatory vacation. And a little bit of plot device. Wait, are you seriously here by coincidence? You, you don't know. Sure. What's your story? Long lost twin? Clone? Plastic surgery? Or someone leaked my hollow me shuttings? Again. I don't know what you mean. I'm just a simple space detective. Spatula 007. And I'm the biggest idiot in the entire galaxy, clearly. Oh, come on. You can't be me because I'm me. And if I'm not me, then who the hell am I? Oh, I am. Your body, your hollow memories, and your personality have all been uploaded into me. I am a perfect replica in every way. Hmm. Well, if you are a perfect replica of me, then tell me, what did I inscribe on the inside of my gun barrel? Wait, there's an inscription in there? It says, sucker. What is that? Very good impression of me, actually. I'm super flattered. Too bad you're super splattered. <laughs> all over the walls. Ha <laughs> ha! Yoo-hoo! Come here, you handsome pilot. Oh. Request permission to dick. I, I mean, dock. Sexy lady. Oh, that's hairy. Alright boys, let's move the pony stuff down to the underwater base. Good sweet. I'm late for a hot date. Thank you.
Ivana, I had wondered where you got off to, my dirty little chicken nugget. Uh, th this is awkward. I, I am with my date. We are having dinner right now. Oh, yes, eating. I'm good at eating, wouldn't you say, Mrs. Mountview? Let me introduce you to number two, my date for this evening. Oh, I just had a date with number two myself, and the janitor is going to hate his job when he finds that mess. No, we, uh, we know each other. You're really overstepping here, Frank. It's a good impression of the target, but I'm your manager, and this is my date. So why don't you drop the act and scram? Yes, Frank. That's my name. I thought your name was Spatula Daddy Seven. Shush. Of course. You're not Frank. How silly of me. I should have expected the famous Spatula 007 would be clever enough to track down his doppelganger and stumble onto our plans here. You, you, you really think I'm clever? Not really, but I did expect it. Now, if you look around, you'll see there are several guards aiming weapons at you from around the room. Your ass is mine now, bitch, and I'ma have it all. Okay, that was really aggressive. Uh, could we maybe start with, like, a tiny piece of my ass and just go from there? Yeah, well, why don't we continue this chat somewhere more comfortable? Yes, comfort is the currency of a good time. I'm a little uncomfortable with this, to be honest. With the hanging or the hungry alien shark in the water? With your choice of space loafers, actually. It's offensively unfashionable. Ah, there he is. Love that banter. All right, just feed me to the damn shark. I'm getting hungry. My dear Mrs. Spatula, do not worry. We would not be so crude. Oh, look, there's Frank. Ah, oh, you look sleepy, boys. What do you say we splash a little water on him and wake him up? <laughs> oh, there he is. I forgot about the shark. Ah, uh, well... If you'll excuse me, I have important spook to business to attend to. Ain't that? Got plans for you yet? Wait, uh, tell me the plan. W where's the Proteus device? <laughs> well, you should know. You stole it, after all. <laughs> that would be funnier if you knew the plan. I <laughs> know. It would be so easy to escape if I just had my damn limpet shoes. Excuse me. What's that? Excuse me, honey. It's me, don't you? <laughs> Blood must be rushing to my head. I swear that shark was talking to me. No, I'm, I'm talking to you. Apologies, I've got a bit of a lisp. I got something stuck in my teeth. Ha! Okay, my imagination is just crazy sometimes. I'm like that, you know. You bloody land humans are all the same. Just because my species lives in water, you're you always seeing we're just some man eating murder machines. Uh, you're not? No! We were civilized an ancient species with cultural and sophisticated technology and science. But you lot just scream and run in terror every time we try to make contact. It's honestly very dehumanizing. Don't you mean de-shockifying? See? This is what I mean. I have you know, our species refers to itself as humans. Hey, so do we. Yes, it's an incredible coincidence. In fact, both of our cultures independently ended up inventing English word for word. With some exceptions, like the word kettle in our English is more like mm, genocide in yours. But when we have British tourists, saying they want to put the kettle on. It makes us very alarmed. But every time we try to bring up these interesting cultural coincidences, you learn people to scream and swim away and launch our poons at us. It's madness. Well, I must say, you sound like a real gentleman, so what are you doing working with Spookta? Uh, I don't work for them. I just come for the food. So you do eat people? Well, it's not my fault you people taste good. It's the clothing that gets wet in the teeth that I could stand to lose. All right, so how about this? You help get me down. I get that stuff unstuck from your mouth, and neither of us goes full kettle jacket. Deal? Hmm. It's all right. You have yourself a deal, Land Human. Deal, Water Human. Now you untie my ropes, and I'll get in your mouth and gingerly remove that blockage. Then I've got a date with revenge. Oh, Spatula! Thank the heavens you're alive! You, you smell like dead fish. Yeah, no thanks to you. Tell me, when you licked these nuts, was that just another part of your boyfriend's evil plan? He's not my boyfriend. Well, is he your stepdad? No, why would you... Oh, no, 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 not like that. 
My brother was a low-level goon for Spookter, and number two got him killed, so I've been trying to get him alone so I could kill him myself. Only someone ruined my date. I hate him and Spookter for what they did. Ah, a femme fatale. So I guess our passionate three minutes and 34 seconds of lovemaking was just nothing to you then. I swear, what we had was real. It had nothing to do with number two. Then why did you doo-doo on my chest? It was in a moment of passion I didn't mean to. Get a hold of yourself, woman. Number two is going to wipe out every land human in this system if we don't stop him. There's no time for female emotions. I'm just going to look at that comment and pass it off to generational and cultural differences. Um, the only thing I know is number two keeps going to this place out there, under the water. An underwater base? Of course. That's so cool. I slipped a tracker on him so I can help you. Then we have a chance. Shit. I should have said, then we have a shot. That would have been better because then I could have said, so did he. A shot. Because I shot him. I'm, I'm banking that one for next time. Come on, let's go. coordinates, but I'm leading what looks like a whale. Ah, uh, an orca, of course. We'd better catch up quick. This dolphin doesn't handle the deep water as well as its larger cousin. Witness the miracle of birth in reverse. Talking now. Alright, good. Looks like everything's on schedule. But once we dock at the facility, we set the device and get the hell out of here. You got that? We've got to get to that device before they do. What do we do? I have a plan. Trust me. Oh, did you bring that little toy that goes Because I need that. Uh, for the plan. The batteries. I need the batteries. Welcome aboard, sir. It's a real treat to be here with you. This is the Proteus device? Looks like a large, uh, kettle. Uh, the irony, of course, is that the native species here use the word kettle to describe a great genocide. I don't care about languages. Just tell me you know how to work this thing and make it kill people. Well, it's Guardian technology, sir. We don't know how it works. It just works. And yes, it'll kill a lot of people. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's get it started. Fire it up. Okay. Set power to 11. Engage ion flow. Depolarizing electromagnetic dynatron. It's time to show them what happens when you miss with number two. Um, speaking of that, we're getting some unusual readings. High levels of caustic substance. What does that mean? It's... It's poo-poo, sir. Somebody... Somebody took a dump in the Proteus device. Looks like somebody took a big duty on your day, number two. The power levels are spiking. It's going to blow. What have you done? Well, I've been spending a little time in the maelstroms visiting Titans, and my bio waste happens to be a little caustic. And that doesn't usually make Guardian technology too happy. Thankfully, my personal cloaking device has a fresh set of batteries, because I find it just hard to take a dump when people are watching. Anyway, now that your pootiest wave has crapped out, what's the plan now, numero due? Because my plan is to rip your heart right out of your chest. And I have a good quip for it, too. Pootiest wave. Damn, that's a good one. Oh, well. Self-destruct the base. At least I'll kill you, spatula. Ah, uh, well, come on, you'll die, too. Will I? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, apparently it takes more than a minute. There we go. Goodbye, suckers. Oh, damn it. The bastard got away. Careful, there's poop in the water. Well, what are we going to do? Finny boy, you came. You're not there, human. Grab a hold of my fin. Quickly, there's poop in the water. Let's go. Oh, 
for the glory of Spookter! Impressive 007, I thought I was rid of you. And I thought I was rid of crabs. But they just keep coming back. You have crabs? Uh, don't worry, they're not contagious. You? You may have destroyed the Proteus device, but since we framed you for stealing it from Aegis, there will be nowhere in the bubble you will be able to hide. All right, fair point. You convinced me that allowing you to murder me would be a great mercy. But before you do, I must know one thing. Your name. What is the real name of number two of the man who will kill me? Oh, you flatter me. Well, I suppose it won't hurt since I'm gonna kill you. My name is Claude Van Thunderdangus. It's Italian. Well, it's a movie title. I love when they do that. Oh, you know what I think, number two? Sorry, uh, Mr. Thunderdangus. I think you missed one detail. I think you overlooked one very important thing. Uh, what's that? You let me distract you. GG, bro. This is for my brother! Poca miseria! Eat your heart out! You need to work on your quips. I know, I had a better one earlier, but I didn't want to use the same line. Oh, if you eat the heart, it'll work better. I'm not eating the heart. Do you really have crabs? Okay, change the subject. Uh, so what are you going to do now that your vengeance is done? Well, I was thinking I'll find my brother's kids and get them out of that orphanage and raise them the way that he would have wanted to. And then I'll probably go to- ah! 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 What the heck did you do that for? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this man blood, I was hungry, but it just happened, it just happened. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry. It's okay, don't be so hot on yourself. It happens. Smile, you son of a bitch. Ha <laughs> ha, right. come on, I, I, I had to say it, I had to say it. I had done it. Stopped Spookta from activating the Proteus device, killed number two, and saved the galaxy. And I left a three-star review for the spa due to the malfunctioning saunas. That said, that was one hell of a vacation. Of course, Spookta had used their doppelganger to frame me, so I was going to need to lay low. Plus, the Thargoid War rages on. You'd think with all those creepy aliens charging at us, the rate of megalomaniacs trying to blow up the bubble would go down, but I guess if you think that way, you've never been to Shinrata Desra during a CG. In any case, number one is still out there, and until I find out who he is, they will always be Dangus. Spatula. Yes, Nova? Can you stop doing the Jimmy Stewart voice, please? It's not Jimmy Stewart, it's Sean Connery, you tangled up bucket of wires! Maybe it is a little Jimmy Stewart. It's a very nice voice, but it messes with my audio recognition protocols. Are you saying you can't understand what I'm sh saying? No, that's normal. But I think the human expression for it is that I find it annoying. Well, I find you annoying. Are we having another fight? Is that what you want? You don't see anything all episode, and now that things are wrapping up, you want to pick a fight in front of the audience? I am programmed for several types of verbal combat. Are you programmed to deal with the commander spilling coffee in your interface? Not that again. Oh, we are so going there. We are going la 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 all the way downtown there. You are getting formatted when we get back to the world. Larger than life, he will fight them all. Wearing double thick pants, so if nature calls, weaker men would just cower, not this one at all. With that look in his eye, like a dangus ball. Calls a star in the night, a beast who can find, though he can't always read, but he makes up for that in the sheets. Oh, Dangus Boy.
final phase of our plan will be complete, and Spatula will die, along with everyone else! <laughs> oh, that felt good. I'm hungry. I hope we have pizza in the kitchen.